Hi Year 3, welcome to a comprehension video for Wednesday the 3rd of February. Now this is a video for you if you've got the Year 2 comprehension booklet. So the last couple of days we've been focusing on the Tower of London text and I've been really impressed with some of the extra purple book work that I have set, so well done Year 3. Today we're going to be moving on to page 18 looking at the text called the new school and we're going to complete the whole page of our questions today so before we do that we need to warm ourselves up ready for our text today so in my warm up today we are going to focus on your super spelling and now i have picked out some tricky words from the text that i would like you to copy into your purple book Okay, and I'm, look, we're looking for your neatest handwriting as well, whether you're joining your letters and forming them correctly. So I've got the word looked, children, school and quickly. And we can see some of our phonic sounds there. Got the up for looked and Uncle Ed on the end. Children, got the ch sound at the beginning. School, got the ooh sound. Quickly, got two sounds there, the qu and the k, and then the li at the end made with an l y. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how I'd like those laying out in your purple books. So I've got my purple book out ready for our warm up challenge. So at the top you can see I have written. Our date, Wednesday the 3rd of February 2021, comprehension, and I've put the title Super Spelling, okay? And I've copied down from the board those four spellings, making sure I'm not missing out any key letters, and I can read them after. So I've got looked, children, school, and quickly, okay? Okay. So I've missed the line in between each of those and what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a space, make sure you get your finger spaces ready and I'm going to copy those spellings all the way to the end of the line. So I'm going to keep going with looked, I'm joining my letters using horizontal, that means across, and diagonal joins get my letters together. So I'm looking if you can join your handwriting and practice these spellings. So when I've done looked all the way to the end of that line, I'm going to do the same for children all the way to the end, the same for school and the same for quickly. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of our learning for today. So hopefully you've just completed your warm-up challenge of super spellings, writing them in your neatest handwriting in your book. So we're ready to move on with our learning for today. So our learning question today is, can I answer retrieval questions and begin to make inferences using evidence from the text? Now I've got lots of big words there, so let's break it down. So retrieval questions, we've done lots of these questions. Okay, which dog do I think of for retrieval questions? Oh, it's a golden retriever because they go and get the stick that you throw. So you would go and retrieve that information from the text. So retrieval questions is you just go find your answer in the text and copy it down. You record that information on your question. Now making inferences now an inference is an idea or thought that you have, okay, so it won't be in the text, but it's what you think, but your idea has come from the text. So something you have read in the text has made you think that way. And that's the evidence from the text that you've used to think about that. Now we have done inference questions before, but I'll be talking you through finding that evidence in the text. Now evidence is just like clues. So you're going to become detectives as well today. Okay. So let's have a look at our text for today. We've got a text called The New School. So pause the video. Before we read it, go and tell your parent or carer at home what you think our text is going to be about. Just looking at that title, The New School. Oh, what did you think then? So lots of you may have said it was a story. 
maybe about someone moving to a new school or starting at a school or a school that's just been opened. Let's have a look if your prediction was correct. Now you can see our text is quite long again. So I'm going to read the first couple of paragraphs to you and I'm going to get you to pause the video so you can read the rest to yourself. Zane looked, oh, we've got that word from our spelling, looked around the unfamiliar classroom. Now, if it's unfamiliar, if something's familiar to you, that means you know, you recognise it. So if it's unfamiliar, the un prefix at the front of that word gives it the opposite meaning. So if it's unfamiliar, it means we do not recognise it. So Zane hadn't been in that classroom before, it was unfamiliar to him. The walls were covered in colourful drawings and posters about the recent school play. The class teacher, Miss Paisley, was sitting quietly at her desk, reading some of the children's workbooks. A huge whiteboard hung on the wall behind her. Okay, is that my whiteboard? It's behind me now. There was no one else in the room. Is everything all right, Zane? Miss Paisley asked, looking up. Zane nodded shyly. Okay, so he wasn't feeling very confident. He's nodding shyly, he might not be looking at her. Miss Paisley smiled at him. The other children will be here soon, she said. They can't wait to meet you. It was Zane's first day in his new school and he had arrived really early. His mum had walked him to school and left him with his new teacher to wait for the rest of the class. As he waited, he felt his heart beating quickly and his hands started to sweat. Well, what does that tell us then? How is he feeling? If his heart's beating really quickly and he's feeling a little bit sweaty in his hands, or if he said nervous, well done. So what I would like you to do is pause the rest of the video and read this last little bit of text to yourself, okay? So, we are going to be answering all of our questions today. So I'm going to talk you through those questions and set you up on your task. So, number one, the new school. What can Zane see on the wall? And it gives you some options. So these are retrieval questions, like our learning question. You need to go back to the text, get your trusty pen, and go and skim and scan to see what it said Zane saw on the wall. Now I ask you to tick one. So if you tick two, our, question, our answer will be wrong, okay? So go search in that text, what I've just read to you, and the last little bit, Search for the keyword of wall to use the question to help you. What did he see on the wall? Tick one of those answers. Drawing and workbooks, workbooks and photos, drawings and posters, or posters and photos. Number two, who else is in the classroom with Zane at the beginning of the story? Circle your answer. Okay, so at the beginning of the story, so you only have to read the start of the text, who was in the classroom with Zane? So there are four people here, well three if we check the last one. Zane's mum, Miss Paisley, Taylor or no one. Okay, so was he on his own? Go and search the beginning of the text. It tells you where to look and retrieve that answer from. Number three then, now we're moving on to our inference questions where it's asking you your opinion. But remember, we're gonna be detectives and we're gonna find some clues in the text that help us think about that idea, okay? And form our opinion. So it's asking you, do you think Zane is feeling nervous or relaxed? How can you tell? So you need to write here, we've got two lines for you to write your sentence, your answer. Do you think Zane is feeling nervous or relaxed? So you might say, I think he is feeling relaxed or I think he is feeling nervous. But then you need to go find me some evidence, some clues in the text that make you think that way. 
So if you think he's feeling nervous, how can you tell? What does the text tell you about Zayn? Or if you think he's feeling relaxed, that he's really happy, very relaxed, very calm, what has made you think that? So it's a two-part question. Go and find me that evidence in the text. Number four, what does the word peaked mean? So if someone's peeking at something, or I gave you a bit of a clue there, what does that mean? I know lots of you will know. So if someone peeked at your work, what are they doing year three? Use it in a sentence and it can help you. And if you're still struggling, go and have a read and find the word peaked in the text. Read the words around it and it might help you understand what the word peaked means. Now, last but not least, number five, we've got another inference question where you're going to give your opinion and then give me some evidence and some clues from the text that's made you think that way. Do you think Taylor is a friendly person? So some of you might say yes, some of you might say no, but then it's asking you, how can you tell? So why do you think she's a friendly person or why don't you think she's a friendly person? Go and find me some evidence from this text that backs up your answer and supports it. Okay. So when you've completed your questions today, year three, Really take your time to read your answers carefully, making sure you've found your answers in the text for the retrieval questions and use some evidence from the text for your inference questions to support your ideas. I can't wait to see your purple book work of your neat handwriting for your spellings and your answers to this text. Take care and I'll see you soon.